so you came here today to find out how to stop and cure panic attacks and i sure that you're looking at this thinking oh that is so calming i feel so much better now oh look at that lighthouse up at that ocean is really nice and it's going to prevent people from actually slamming into something and dying right or maybe there really isn't anybody creepy behind that curtain Okay, so what am I doing? <laughs> I'll tell you what. I have watched all these videos that you guys have probably watched too. And you're really hoping that somebody's going to get on here and not say something stupid like just breathe. Or think more positive because that doesn't work, right? Okay, so let's get serious here. <music> So hi, my name is Linda Larson Schlitz, and I've been a counselor about 30 years, and I've worked with tons of people with severe anxiety and panic attacks. And just watching some of these videos, and the best part about it was watching people connect. And, and to see what other people go through and how wrong us counselors are to think it is that easy just to say oh just relax and just enjoy and just breathe and I've had to learn this I haven't had major panic attacks I'll tell you I've, I've had some times that have been really stressful and I have chosen to turn the negative and the scary into something funny or something helpful, which is why I wrote my book, Ditsy Blonde Fawcett, It's a God Thing. I think the bottom line of all of our anxiety, and tell me if I'm wrong, put it in the comments. I'd really love to know what you think. And, I, and, and there's gonna be a bunch of negatives and I'm, I'm fine with that. Because if you guys can network as you're writing and getting to know each other in the comments, just even to talk about how stupid this video is, if you can connect with some other people who have panic attacks and whose life is just awful, that's good, go, go for that. But I'm here if I can help you in some way. I really am a pretty good counselor and I've helped a lot of people. But what I've done is, for example, the time I went out to eat with a bunch of friends and some of them knew, some of them I wanted to impress and we're eating chips and salsa. And like I said, I have ADHD and I, I'm not paying attention and all of a sudden, you know, I've got my new wool skirt on, I'm cheap, I don't want to get it messed up, and all of a sudden my roommate says, Linda, you just spilled salsa all over. And I look down, normally, you know, would have been really embarrassed and didn't know how to deal with that, maybe started crying. No, I just said, oh, praise God, because I'd forgotten to zip my zipper up and it had fallen on my underwear. So you know, that's how I turn potential panic attacks into something different, is to look at what God is doing in my life. I had one client this last week who has panic attacks because she has panic attacks and she's worried about having panic attacks. So one thing I had her do is a gratitude list, things to be grateful for, and shifting your brain to something else is really really helpful and i know how hard that is but another thing that really helped my clients and has helped me is if you type in hysterical contagious laughter do the lady on the bus to, to me i mean i've i've never yet watched that when i haven't at least cracked a smile because it changes you and if you can laugh if you can even laugh at how stupid this video is and that it's not helpful at all. Go ahead, laugh. Make fun of me. I don't care if it helps you because to laugh changes the brain chemistry. It puts endorphins into your brain. Laughter is way better than anxiety and it helps you so much more. So if you can, and, and how I got the idea for this video was watching other videos and one in particular is like a minute and a half and it's like stop anxiety now or something, stop panic attacks now. 
which is what I was going to call mine, and maybe I will, because it really got a lot of views. But everybody said, this is so stupid. It starts out with this guy behind this wall. He's just a creepy looking guy. And they're like, oh, my God, within the first two seconds, I'm in a panic. It, it just, it was great. So if people can network and laugh, and please, Tell me what solutions you have or what your issues are so I, as a counselor and life coach, can help people to get better. One thing I realized is that I probably need to start an online networking support group for people with panic disorders because nobody understands you like somebody else who's had a panic attack. I don't understand to the degree I've had some, but not to the degree where you're passing out or, well, I did actually end up going to the hospital once um, in an ambulance now that I think about it. And they did say it was anxiety. But anyway, <laughs> that was just one time. So uh, some of you go through this on a daily basis and I'd love to help if I can. So I'll do a free coaching session with you if you want to I want to hook up with me. I had one client this week that said, on a scale of one to 10, how much you've helped my panic attacks? I'll give you a hundred. So, you know, at least one person thinks I can be helpful. So if, if you need some help, laugh, get something funny, um, network with each other on, on this uh, down below, I would appreciate it. And tell me, tell me what I can do different. Tell me what kind of video you'd like to see. That would be great. I'd appreciate it. And in the meantime, I'm going to be praying for you because God's got a plan for your life and it is not to get stressed out and have panic attacks. That much I know for sure. All right, we'll talk again, hopefully.